Ah, it's such a good day today. But I really want to go to the store. It's, look at it. I don't want to walk all the way over there. Hold on. Where's the store? Oh, there it is. I don't want to walk all the way over there. I mean, look how far away it is. What do I even do? Like, and like, I can't even get out of this tree house, to be honest. There's no, I don't know. I don't know how to climb stairs. I don't know how to climb stairs. Uh, I guess I'm just going to stay in my house and starve for the rest of my- What the hell? Hold on. What is that? Why is there a green square in my, in my house? Do I like, hold on. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! Oh my god! I'm at the- I'm at the store? Well, I guess I have a teleporter now. Well, that's cool. Alright guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. And in today's video, we're gonna be making a teleporter system in Roblox Studio. But yeah guys, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright, so the first thing that we're gonna do to make this teleporter system is we're gonna actually make the teleporter part. Now, I'm just gonna take one part. I'm gonna scale it like this. I'm gonna make it like a neon green and then i'm gonna duplicate it and then make one which is red now let me just move it all the way over here i'm gonna call this one teleport part one and i'm gonna call this one teleport part two uh, part 32 part two anyways i'm just gonna put the spawn location now that we have our two teleporter buttons we actually have to script them and it's actually a really simple script it may not seem like it's gonna be easy but it's actually a really simple script that only takes us a few minutes to code the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna go here and insert a script. Now we're gonna do script.parent.touch colon connect function hit. This is going to detect if we touch the part and it's going to make a variable hit which is the object that touched the part. Now we're gonna do if hit.parent colon find first child humanoid. Then this checks if the parent of the part that we hit is a, has a humanoid which means it's a player. Then we will do local character is equal to hit dot parent and we're going to do character dot humanoid root part dot c frame is equal workspace dot teleport part two dot c frame and then we're going to do plus vector three dot new zero five and zero what this does is it moves us five studs up so that we don't uh we don't teleport inside of the part so let's just try this out with this part we can see that if we touch it it will teleport us here and we can also add a cooldown so that it doesn't lag out like it just did so we're gonna do local cooldown is equal to false and here we're gonna do if cooldown is equal equal to false then we're gonna paste this in here then we're gonna do cooldown is equal to true wait one second and cooldown is equal to false now we touch our part here and we can see that it teleports us to this part so basically, that's how you make a teleport. And all we have to do to make it to the other part here is part two, paste the script, and change this to part one. Now let's try this out. And we're going to see a little issue. We're going to see that if we stand, it's just going to instantly teleport us back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and we're going to be stuck in a time loop. The, the, the only way to fix this is now we're going to make, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our player, starter character, uh, starter, starter character scripts. I'm going to make a value. And I'm going to make it teleporting. Here we're going to do local teleporting is equal to hit.parent.teleporting. We're going to do if teleporting is equal equal to false. Then we're going to do this. Then we're going to do teleporting.value is equal to true. Also, it's dot value here. And then here we're going to set teleporting.value to true. Now, if we just paste this in here again, change this to one because it's going to teleport us back to teleport part one and we try this out we'll be able to see that it will no longer teleport us infinitely and now that we've done that i'm just going to remove the cooldown now that we don't need it it's like a more advanced version of a cooldown so now that we did that we're going to copy this uh i'm going to delete this end here copy this paste it in our other script change it to teleport part one and let's test this out all right so now we can see that if i touch it but something is wrong. Actually, I found out what I did wrong. Uh, basically, I have to do wait one here and set it to false instead of true because I just kept it going at true. And of course, that's not going to work. So now that we've done that, we're going to copy this and paste it into our new script, into our other part and change this to teleport part one. So now that we have our thing here, we can see that it works. It teleports us back and forth. And also, we're not inside of the button because we did the vector three. But yeah, guys, uh, that's basically how you make a teleport button in Roblox Studio. But guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe and like. 
And guys, if you have any issues, make sure to join my Discord server where we can help you out. Even I can help you out. But yeah, guys, uh, with that said, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.